portion In a yogurt, pussy far motion Take a sip of my love potion Right now you are my number one Tell us, turn down for your back shot The fuck seat now, no time for no snapchat But I like you, double tap Set it up, laptop Turn the free, block back My PC, pussy far So make it clap, so make it clap So make it clap, my girl make it clap One more, one more Three months, three months, four months, four months, five months, five months, six months, six months, seven months, seven months, eight months. Yo, Genesian J, and welcome to the first episode of the Barbershop Talks. Yeah, man! Oh, in my barbershop, we will be discussing various topics that is relevant in the UK culture. And today I have here on my channel Dynamic, Shade, Didi, and Gil. Alright, cool. This video has been filmed in a dual channel, so make sure you guys check out their details, which will be linked in the description box below. Make sure you guys like, comment if you need this channel, make sure you guys subscribe. It's important that you guys do that because they get the engagement on this video will obviously determine the variety part 2 in it and episode 2 and all that in it. Let's get straight into the video, innit? So, guys, in my barbershop, in the barbershop today, we're going to be discussing surgery. So let's let's start off by establishing who's for and against surgery. Going around this side of the room, here. against. Yeah, against. Yes. Against, but I feel like the pens, but yeah, against. Okay, and when we say surgery, we're talking about the BBL, the tummy tuck, the liposuction, the teeth, them and all them something, the face lift and the pin back of the ear. <laughs> yeah, bro. Four. Four. Can I be for against? Forget, so you're in the middle. Forget about the bad yes. line. Forget. <laughs> cool, so the first question is, do you think surgery should be allowed and what age do you think is appropriate to start getting surgical procedures done? Mm. Should it be allowed? Yes. Because people get to do whatever they want. You can do whatever you want. Whether I like it is just my mm. opinion. What age? 21. 21. Yeah, man, 21. Mm. 21. Yeah. Everybody agree. 25. Say 25. But I could also what? say 18. No, man, I, I think 21. 21 is that, that age where you really. where you can do anything. Because mm. I, I really don't. I think, I think you're getting. Mm. I think it's a mindset thing as well, though. Because I can't lie. It's obviously like 21, 18, 18, 21, 18, 21, 18, 21, still younger. You're still growing at you. No, but you know what it is? I'm thinking that when you you're 18, you know what you want to do by them. Yeah, yeah. But right. then there's people that do it and then let down the line they regret. Yeah, right. but that's cool. Because they went to the wrong person. No, but they'll say, oh, I wish I didn't do this to you young or red. They go to the turkey, yeah. Istanbul, and they don't even know. They have not going to the right place. Listen, listen right when you get surgery, you need to go to Dr. Miami. Yeah. If you're not going to Dr. Miami and them top top surgeons, yeah. then don't do it. Let me bring up the statistics in it. So basically, I Googled on that, like, how many. Obviously, you what? Google, <laughs> I googled online, oh, yeah, I googled. wanted to see that, like, obviously, because a lot of girls, at the end of the day, on social media, like, Sorry. it's alright. On social media, um, if anything, young girls are more influenced. Like what they see on social media, they have the influence about what they see in terms of clothing, mm -hmm. body shapes, this that, and the next. So I wanted to see how it was actually affecting the young people in terms of like you know the youngsters on social media. And when I googled it, it came. I came across that sixty-three thousand people between the ages of thirteen to eighteen had undergone like surgical procedures. 13. Yes, thirteen. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Are you, this is in the UK, right? No, this part. This is just like all over. No, actually, no. This is in the UK. Huh? 13, yeah, 13. No, 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 13 year old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, this obviously surgery is breast augmentation, rhinops, wait, rhino, rhinoplasty, and causing like nose reshaping and all, the, all of that. Yeah. All, wait, autoplasty, air spinning, and liposuction, and obviously the fillers and all them what? things, because that's probably the white, the white culture. So, what do you not have to say about the young girls going for surgery? Because obviously they're still going through puberty, the body, their body isn't yeah. in like its natural form yet. They're still growing their breasts because obviously it's ping pong size at the time, you know what I'm saying? So, is that how you look? But it's true. No, but it's true. No, but it's, no, but it's true because you're going, you're going for breast augmentation and your breast is, your breast is not still developed. Still developed, yeah. So, so that's, 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 that's not allowed. I'm surely that's 18, not allowed. Like, 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 parental consent, they can't just go yeah, to the doctor. That's how you get a piercing. If, if you're there for 16 or just before, yeah, they that have to You have to get parental so how is So what is a 13 year old getting? As I, I just said it. Everything. Wait, all of that? Yeah. When you're 13? Yeah. Man, not my daughter. So in your opinion, would you say that the parent has failed their child if they've got surgery at that young age? Yeah. Hundreds. <coughs> no, I don't say failed their child. No, they haven't failed as in everything they failed. No, not failed, but as in they failed, failed as in they gave in. They gave, yeah, basically because yeah. your child. If it's not for health issues. Listen, yeah. yeah, if it's not yeah. for health issues, yeah. 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 Because a 13, 14, 15 year old wanting to get surgery done is meaning. They are your living. Yeah. You yeah. get yeah. it. Remember your. You I guess it's by the content like that she's it. watching as well, isn't it? You know your yeah. child watching certain content. And that also comes back to the household. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because you, as your parents, should be in charge of what your. Obviously, you can't be in charge of every single thing. You get me? But like, 
Or what they use it at the age of 13 years old, innit? Like, in my personal opinion, that, I want to feel like that the parent didn't do enough in terms <laughs> of like censoring certain things with, with, like, with the child, didn't it? Like, cool, when you're growing up, I feel like you're supposed to like implement certain things. Bro, it's called discipline, bro. It's called discipline. But then again, when a child gets to a certain age, they think for themselves. So it's not about what you tell your child. Yeah, but you see the generation we're growing up in, yeah. it's different. See, back in the day, we could say that because when we were growing up yeah. and we was that age, I know it's, it's we're young, don't make it seem like we're old, innit? Yeah. But it's changed. Right, cool. really there's social someone. media, but then always remember there's always your yard, innit? Like when you put down the phone, there's always your yard, and there's always you and your parent. I feel like as you're growing up, parents are supposed to make sure that they implement certain things like you are beautiful, yeah. don't worry about certain, like, you know, you feel, you're not ugly, but you're, you're not smart. Thing. You're kind of like, in fact, some kids don't know what's their parents was. anymore because they're older. No, but it's so true, you know, but if, if you're getting to told that. that every day, you're naturally going to believe yeah. it. Like, just like how someone says you're ugly all the time, you're going to look in the mirror yeah. and be like, bro, like, I'm actually ugly, like, I'm actually fat. Yeah, 100%. But guess what? It's different though. But then it's is it's, it's like it's yeah, not, it's what you feel inside because your mom could be telling you that every day, but family. But you don't feel it. But you don't feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love yourself. But again, all of that is to do with but upbringing. But like. is it? So yeah. some yeah. people don't love themselves yeah. when it comes to upbringing because like, they, they didn't get love from home, and I feel like it all starts within the home. Because at the end of the day, when you get pushed out of the room, you get carried straight back to the yard. So I feel like it's to do with the parenting, and I feel like parents have a big yeah. like they definitely they have to play a big part with it. I don't. I don't feel like they did back in the day. Now it's a bit half and half. Generations too advanced, fam. Yeah. Kids have iPhones now from. Bro, kids are watching TikTok yeah. from the age like, of what? Eight, like, seven, like, yeah, baby, baby, baby. baby. Even like porn and stuff like that, it's early accessible from young ages when you look at oh, it. Like, yeah. No, no, but you have to be really. I'm saying, like, stuff like I that. Is, I was watching from young ages. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> I can see why younger people will be like, why is my body curved like that and this and the next, but I also feel like it's a conversation for the parents having their child like this. I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry, I'm like, what's up? I feel like it's more believed that having BBL and your body being a certain way is natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
giving you fat blobs. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm just saying. No, he said there's nothing wrong with fat blobs. Why are you calling people a fat blob? A blob. Bro, I'm saying, hey, if you're a fat blob, I'm sorry. Let me lie, let me lie, let me lie. Alright, big girl, let me come back. Maybe though, if you're a big bone, etc., etc., right? If you put a big bone girl next to a curvy team, even if you look like the big big bone girl, they're still gonna go and like the curvy girl. Even if you look like the big bone girl, they're still gonna prefer the other one. Like you're not gonna support your own kind of figure, like. And I feel like that's that's that kind of. But you know what? I feel like a lot of things that girls that girls kind of follow what they wanna be like. So with that being said. Like in what, sense? In what sense? Yeah, what? Oh, in what sense? As in, like, if if you're an influencer, girls are more likely to follow people they want to be like or people they aspire. Hundred percent. Social like, media is a wave, right? People on social media are like sheep. At one point, it was a slim body. Okay. Then it was okay. Fat girls are coming in. Then it was BBL. Then it was a like, fat girls again, and then it was back to BBL and doing BBL multiple times, and it is flopping, right? That's the reason confusion. why. Confusion. Everyone's confused. It's confused, and this is the thing. Again, I feel like it's us as the audience. That's enabling certain things. I, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to, yes, it is. I don't do it. You like it, bro. You like it, bro. You like it, bro. I did that again. Listen, I'm not gonna blame me. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna say that the influencers cannot post their body because at the end of the day, everyone has a right to do what they want to do. But I don't feel like the influxion of surgery should be should go up against our um, whether she's got surgery or not. And especially when these surgeries are actually sponsoring bodies, yeah. and you will do that influencer's body good, and you go there, you get a chop up, chop up sauce. <laughs> so you can't like, and this is the. But you can't look like that person. So you you get just and another people, thing people need to remember, yeah, is. It's why a lot of these BBLs are failing as always because you, when you get a BBL, it's not people just think they just need to have the money for the BBL mm. and they forget about having the money for the aftercare. You get it? The maintenance. The, 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 the aftercare. Yeah. And most girls, fam, doctor tell you you're not allowed to sit on that. that yeah, that's what I'm Don't saying. sit on that ass. After you get this, you have to wait a bit. You have to stand <laughs> up. <laughs> you have to stand up and get a bit. But that girl wants to go and thingy and they forget about these. Like, you have to come back, you have to get the um, aftercare. And Can exactly. I say something here? Like, you, lot, you look at the Kim Kardashian, I want the Kim Kardashian body, and you don't have the Kim Kardashian money to get that body. And let's remember, these celebrities don't even do BBL. They do that enhance something. Yeah, they, they do, do the They do all the time. They don't get nothing. They inject in their body, you know. They just do the, the the sculpting of the little laser thing and all of that. They don't even do surgery, but they do the skin tightening and all of that. You feel like you go surgery, you you, you take one little probe and you shove it up in your belly, and that's it. No, there's there's massages. There's all of these different kind of things. You, and more time, yeah, when the, when the doctor does the surgery, they're not tightening up belly. Them. And you know, when you're when you're with your belly, body, your belly's just hanging. So. And slapping it in their box. That's what I'm saying. I was gonna say, I feel like there's more. Re- oh, stop looking at me. No. So let's practice communication skills. Don't look at me. Yeah. I feel like. Just look at the camera. <laughs> It's more like um, what's the representation now? Yeah. So it's like it was before, like like you said, everyone wanted the BBL, but now mm. people are showing like pictures of their natural bodies more, and right. everybody's accepting like how they look like more. So I feel like the BBL rate has kind of gone down, but I do agree that social media and people in general just being followers is the reason why 100%. everybody. And I feel like it's got to do with this generation getting lazy as well. Before you take yeah. ass off and go to the gym, yeah, that same four K, five K, six K that you spend it, you know. You're supposed to spend way more than that. You're supposed to spend way more than that. You see that six kilos. No, you're not seeing boys. You're not allowed that. What time you don't even have to go to gym? What we can go out to work out. What time you don't even have to go to gym? It's just about the right diet plans and all of these kind of things. And what time the food tastes good? You just don't give it a try. You just see Dr. Miami and be like, Yo, one can I book my surgery? It doesn't work like that. You used to like you get the surgery and you don't want to work out and you end up back in the same position that you was before with the same fat body. Let me switch. Doesn't make sense. So what about the girls that look good with it? Alright, cool. The girls that look good with it. Nine times out of ten, people kind of look good with mm. the surgery. Mm. You got the odd few that might not look so good. Mm. That can pass. I cool. can ask a question. I ask a question. Name a girl that has a good BBL. Kim Kardashian. I never mind. Cool. Let me say something. Yeah. Cool. Uh, do you know what's next? You think? Do you actually think? Sorry. Sorry. Can I speak? What? What? I think that a lot of the girls that look good with BBL. Kind of pretty beforehand. Nah, in, like, in, in my opinion, I feel like a lot of the girls that bang with a BBL looks good beforehand anyway. And it's just, yeah, it's just kind of. And, and, and say, like, piggybacking on what you're saying, yeah, you see today's influencers that like, go and get a surgery, go and get a surgery in silence, don't get a BBL and then announce to the whole world they've got. I disagree. 
Wait, hold on, wait, let me say something because you're influencing these girls to go get the nice. Wait, hold on, let me land, let me land, let me land, let me land, let me land. You go get the BBL, your body flops, right? And then every single every single person that you've gone to influence with your discount code that have gone to the same doctor, <laughs> their body discount flops as well. Code. Right? Yeah, how, what this happened for BBL? Yeah, this discount code. <laughs> <laughs> Well. Hey, you see what I'm saying? 20% off! Who's smart? The red button! No, listen to what I'm saying, you guys on Snapchat. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying that, don't announce it straight away. See how your surgery goes first. If yours goes well, then you have all rights to say, yo, Bro, like I got a little surgery. I don't hold on, you got a little surgery a couple months ago. I'm Ray Tay Tay. And if you want to go, this is my doctor, etc. Et now, no, you guys are like, no, 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 you need to tell them because at the end of the day, if you don't tell them, and to be honest, listen, if you don't tell them, and every single girl ends up sitting and going to the same person, and everyone yeah. ends up coming out looking at you, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. That's I'm what I'm saying. You don't know your ear <laughs> person is not getting nothing done. No, no, no. We don't listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying, if you're an influencer, get your surgery done first. See how you and one work out before you be like, oh, guys, I'm in the surgery room. When I'm seeing what you're doing, I'm not seeing what you're doing. I really don't agree with that. You're doing it versus for you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just saying money, people, and all of these things, but imagine having a, a, anyone, mm. anyone that someone looks up to you, and you'll see their daily life, then automatically you don't see nothing, then they come back with BBL. Yeah, but that's, if it's so, that's more of a. No, but if it's a case by case basis, I'm saying, alright, cool. If it's just you coming to me saying, have I got a BBL? Obviously, I'm a man, I can't get BBL, but I'm saying, if you come to me and ask me if I've got a BBL, I'll be like, yeah, I've got a little surgery or something. But announcing it to so hundreds of thousands of people that have access to like, easy influence, and remember, you girls here, yeah, you influencers have audiences from all ages, from secondary school going straight up to big women. Mm -hmm. And if you're, if you're showing these little girls that, like, look, I got surgery and it's not socially acceptable, and you don't know how your ones turn out yet, and they're, and they're, and they're I'm Sending all the council money, uni money, and all of these kind of things on surgery, and you're sending like literally, they're thinking that alright, cool. If I get this body, ah, uh, um, it's gonna earn me extra money on only fans and this that, and the next. You're done out your uni, your uni loans. You're saving up the money that your universal credit. You don't know how your surgery is gonna turn out. You have no money for aftercare, and I feel like again, influencers have a part to play, but I don't feel they like do. it's their fault. I don't feel like it's their fault. Bro, but you've just bit, bro, you just contradicted yourself because you said influencers should not post about their surgery. I said straight I'm, away, bro. See how you. Work out first. No, I'm wrong for saying that. But you know what? Like, in a sense, there's like a before and after. But I don't think no one really that's posted what, their, their, their BBL straight away, though. Hmm? I don't think no person. No, I, 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 I don't think people go to. Who? Remember? Yeah, I don't know anyone personally who's going to go and then come home and say, look, pump back and laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
<laughs> Let's move on to the next question. If you're in a relationship, right? No, hey. sorry. If the female's in a relationship, right? Ooh. And um, I already did. <laughs> If a female's in a relationship and she decides to go get surgery, has the man failed her as a husband or spouse or partner? No. Listen, did oh. you, what? <laughs> to an extent, anyway. Yes, I feel like. Your okay, man. Just very hold on, hold on. Before we even go. <laughs> yes or no? Go around. Yes. No. As uh, no. Has he failed her no. as a partner? No. To an extent. Yes. Fifty-fifty. Yeah. No. Alright, cool. Well, I'm gonna point again. Go on. In a relationship, yeah. male or female, mm -hmm. your partner should always make you feel beautiful within your yeah. skin. Yeah. Cool. If you slap in certain areas, it's expected. I'm not gonna lie, baby, I'm slapping on. But you just need to know, you just need to know how you're dealing with it. Yeah. However, but I don't think it's the partner's fault here. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's the full partner's fault, but it also it goes down to what they're saying, how they show you, okay. how how what they show to oh, you. Okay. It you does. Know. It does, do you know why? Because you're in a relationship. <laughs> my heart is with your heart. You yeah. you see my body. You see all in don't do that. You see all ins and outs of my body. Yeah. So your opinion means <laughs> like how my mum's opinion yeah. will mean to I've been in one of these situations. Got, <laughs> I'm telling this girl all the time that yo, you look good, like yo. I'm always telling her she look good, look good, you look good, but fam Instagram just telling her something different. I'm bro, telling her something right, cool. Yeah. 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 Listen, it's not about nothing to do with me, you know, it has nothing to do with me because in her own it's time, her. in her own time when she's on her phone, she's going through Instagram yeah. and she's looking like this and I don't think it comes from nowhere. Bro, like, uh, you know, you know, you can tell your girlfriend or whatever, you look beautiful, you look beautiful, but when she looks at you and sees that you're looking at these girls that are she, No, do you know what it is? No, bro, hold on. Let me be real. No, I'm saying 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 you don't look good. Especially if your girl already right, cool. has this insecurity exactly. in yeah, itself. Yeah, let me say something. But it's just a... Uh, my followers know that I argue from both sides. So basically, I'm on Instagram and I'm looking... <laughs> let, 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 let me land, let me land, let me land, let me land, bro. My audience knows that I always argue. Instagram, get the light, bitches. One more clash, one more clash, one more clash, one more clash. Anyways, um, <laughs> my audience knows I'll argue both um, sides, male and females. I stay very neutral when it comes to my group discussions, right? When it comes to relationships, you can notice like see certain changes. Like your female is your your wife is standing up in the mirror a little bit too long, looking at her body. There's signs before she actually reaches the conclusion that yo, I want to get surgery. I feel like before she reaches that stage, that she even says something. At the end of the day, remember when you go into a relationship, it's a partnership. At the end of the day, you're supposed to know your spouse inside and out. I don't give a. You're supposed to know. A toss. And yeah, a toss. Sorry, I'm not, yeah, I wasn't trying to, you know, cuss out the curse words and that. But you're supposed to notice certain signs and just be like, yo, babe, like, what's going on? Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't feel, I don't, I don't feel myself anymore. Because at the end of the day, for me, as well, a let's man, go to the gym. Hold on, yeah, exactly. Me as a man, if I met you a certain way, I expect you to remain that certain way. I don't really expect too much changes unless you're bettering yourself for the better. But I'm not expecting you to go to fly to Turkey and get surgery done. Okay, okay. Well, I find you beautiful then. the way how you are, and I feel like a man is supposed to make a female feel comfortable yeah. in her own body. At the end of the day, you and her, you and her, you and her, same. Thing. You have your teeth done. Your girl was, uh, if you had a girl at the time, and right? she told you that you look nice, and you probably want to go. What, what was your reason for getting the teeth done? The other's kind of buckish. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of overlapping. Bro, you know, yeah. now but my like, example. But no, let me ask you a question. I don't know you're going to go on the go. But like, now, if you had a girl, you know, yeah. she was like, yo, like, I love you for the way how you are. Don't yeah. change nothing. Like, yeah. would, you have, would I have tainted your. No. That would not so that's my it. point. This no. is my point. So, for my. But that's what I said. I went in the mirror. And every time when the mirror there was a buck, because I wanted the buck to unbuck. Bro, so I the braces at him. I had braces already. And I had braces already. But then, like, but like then that's, like, that's like us working out to go to gym, mm. then gym not really cutting it. Then we get, that's different. Okay, so but there's in, in he said options that you could take in order. Yeah, 100. Like, I'm not the speed. Okay. That. Okay. He's the taking, that's what I'm saying. He's taking that. That, yeah, that, more solution. that run, do you know what I'm saying? He's taking that run before he's gone. I'm trying to attack your teeth, I'm just saying. Run the teeth, swat in the box. I think it's different because, like he said, he's been wanting to do it for time. So, even if he got in a relationship and she, and she goes, You're beautiful, da, 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 whatever, he still would have got it done. So, I feel mm. like if they have insecurities before a relationship, yeah. that's different. Yeah. They, they're going to do it regardless. But if they didn't have that, and now, as you said, they're looking at themselves a little too long in the mirror, and then that's when you come right, and remind them. All right, cool. Can we talk about the minor and the major cosmetic procedures, right? You got your teeth done, it's not really a big deal, right? Because yeah. it's just like, you know, normal teeth, teeth, teeth. Mm -hmm. But when you start going to big things like, obviously, face lift, there, there, shape, da, 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 da. I agree with like a little cosmetic procedure, like teeth done, you know, you can do Which your teeth if you want. 
I want to see Botox yeah, too, yeah, so that's a bit of a... It looks like wrinkles, isn't it? So no, man, but it kind of gives you this look. Black no crap. Yeah, I think when yeah. you're starting to change your body consistently, like, and you're, you, what you was born with, what God put you on the earth with, is not recognisable. And when a child born, you look pretty, and the child just look crap. And the parents are like, why do I look like this? I look nothing like you. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, the, the new generation now have found something new. You don't, they bro, found the doctor in Miami. Bro, I can... I can change any part of my body now. Right, listen, I never need to worry about um, you see the ball spot coming in the middle of my head. I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, because there's something in. there that's going to do that. 100%. We live in a world where there's things now you can, bro, I can buy it. I can, I want a new flipping finger. I'm going to buy that. As obviously the generation is obviously enhancing and stuff like that, we can, I can post something today and turn into an influencer tomorrow. It is up to me what I want to influence. I don't feel like, as you also say, obviously, as time goes on, time will advance. It's up to us as content creators what we yeah. want to put out there. But just like your music, you want to influence but whatever. It's, 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 one, influence it's one, one mind against millions. Yeah. Okay, but that's that's one one also, you can play your part, yeah. facts, you can play your part, but the reason I'm saying it will never change is because for it to change, then everybody's okay, mind will but then who, who Okay, remember it was one person that probably started doing surgery and the rest of it was just, it's a ripple effect. I call, but now now it's there, it's here now. We can't talk about that one person no more because yeah. No, but I feel like you're So you're telling me basically that it's like saying if that one person you gotta okay. stop but you're then but no one remembers that person. But you're already wrong because person. somebody got a failed surgery and but a lot of people are deterred from that whole surgery. Yeah, it's deterred from going to him. This is their head from going to that girl. No, 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 they were still going yeah, to But guess what? These girls are still going to. They, yeah, they still might want to get surgery. 100%. But they just want to go to the person that that person went to. It's more scarce. It's like a baby as well. When a baby bites you. They're just going to do more into it. When a baby bites you, etc., etc., you have to make them feel the hurt so they know what they're doing at the end of the day. It's the same thing with surgery. Like, if I see, I don't know, alright, cool. If I'm her and I see another influencer get surgery and I see that back is rotting out and um, face is Falling off, mm. and ears are dropping out. All these from you. I'm gonna be like, you know what? Ears are dropping out. <laughs> Take your money. Let me keep my money, and let me put something to more productive. I'm gonna be scared. But that person's insecurities will not change. Still, they might just have to find another person. Alternative. Said, yeah, in terms exactly. of going to the gym, more natural perspective. Because let me tell you, I feel like if Debatable, you want to, man. Debatable, then, bro. if you want to get your body done, you're changing your whole body. You're actually looking at your parents and be like, you know what? Thank you for bringing me in this world, but fuck you. I don't want to look nothing like you. Or God, thank you for bringing me in this world, but I just don't like what you did with me. Like I. I don't like anything about me. Why do you want to look the same as everybody else on social media? Like one day robots are gonna come. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, one day robots are gonna come. They look good sometimes. They look nice. They don't look nice. Yo, on social media, the influencers they look good. No, it's subjective. It's the attention. It's the female will get off it. So the females will get off it. So you have some girl that will feel some girls are beautiful, you know, and they feel like. And you know what? It's got to do with you stinking blog pages that post all the nice girls are not posting natural bodies as well. Oh, that's oh, a big oh, part, oh, even the media. I know. The news out there. Show the super. The Vogue magazine. Just just show the skinny super. Guy. Show all of that, bro. Show different types. But of the people. reason why uh, that, let me tell you, bro. No, but the reason why it's not, there's a reason why it's not shown. Is because majority of people do not want to look like that or do not <laughs> like that. So and therefore, and it's shown. No one posts their failures. People only post but only their, nice their nice things. Just, no one's gonna post them. No one's gonna post them. I understand, but look at it from this side. Once upon a time, there was no black models. Nobody. Bro, we're living in the, bro, stop going back to old times, it's not history lesson. Yeah, but we're in new times but that's, now. That's what I'm saying, times have changed. Exactly. Times have changed. So bro, do you think that, do you think, oh yeah. sorry, the voice went a bit high. Do you think, yeah, <laughs> the voice sound Rick. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's a way to stop this? Yes, no, do you know what? anything. Wait, do you think there's a way to actually stop this? In this time this? and day. No, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not saying that put a permanent stop to it. Again, I said each their own at the end of the day, but I feel like a lot of influence comes from, if you never see it on the TV, if you never saw it on Twitter, you wouldn't want to do it. Yeah. It's got to do with, I, I, it's just because it's been pushing your face. And like I was saying before, it's got to do with us as people, like commenting on the show, all the influencers can't support Bro, but if they look the good, audience. they look good, Bridget. I, yeah. I, 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 oh, I, I, like, I feel Bro. like you lot are making it seem like it's the whole Instagram app in general. Because yeah. there's it's always, got to do there's always media been, yeah. There, yeah, but there's always been social media. But it just wasn't as used as much as it's used now. 100%. So it's not the fact that. But yeah. when did Instagram come about? Yeah, 2000. 2016 inch. No. Whoa! Well, that's when it started. 2016? What? Even that's when it started. Yeah, but okay, but when it came yeah, out, when it came out, when it came out compared to how it is, was it like that? No, it, it wasn't. wasn't. No. It started, started to take up in like that's 2016 when it opened. I could go on with your point now. No, wait. Wait, so wait, what is the point? Go on the point, because what is the point then? It's not the whole Instagram or the whole Snap. It's certain individuals. And I feel like the way you lot explain it is like now that Instagram's here, everything that 
like showing on Instagram is to hold do, on, let's, it, it's to blame hold on. for why let me, let me, let me, let me counter up to what you're saying. Nobody really watches TV anymore. If anything, they go on YouTube, they go on um, Instagram, Netflix. they go on Netflix and TikTok. Um, <laughs> TikTok and all these things. Nobody really watches that. Nobody switches on the TV anymore. Yeah. Before social media, it was the TV. It was a little black and black and white sitting on the TV. And, and the only people that had BBLs at the time were those rich, pa- rich, rich people that could afford it. Just the back. And they were on the TV. And they were on the TV. Mainly skinny, so it was mainly and the skinny girl running this. Remember, back in the day, you had to accept the body, bro. If you went, to, you went back to Yada, you got the good okra body shape girl, then, or you come, come over to the UK and you get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of. Do you know what I'm saying? You get a little bit of skinny, and you get a little bit of. Yeah. What I'm saying. So. <laughs> cool. Time to cool. Yeah. It's through social media. Facts. Your music through social media. DJ. Everything through social, through social media. Of course. My YouTube on social media because it's social media. But what's the point of social media world now? That's what I'm saying. Times have so, advanced, so you can't necessarily say that ah, uh, um, we can't blame all on social media. When social media is the only thing we use nowadays to take pictures where you're posting on social media. Nobody puts out any photo albums anymore because they have the old. No, I do. No, we, we do just for memories though, but like, yeah. it's not a thing like every day we go on and say, oh, nobody takes them, them like retro photos and puts it in the photo albums anymore. It's, oh, let's go to, oh, I'm, I'm a victim, I'm, I'm corporate myself. I go to office and <laughs> I take my photo. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do it. The, the best lighting and because I have equipment, I'm going to go above and beyond. And what, you, you walk with your lights? <laughs> Back to what I was saying about the whole relationship thing. I feel like it's the man's responsibility to make the woman feel more comfortable, yeah. vice versa. Yeah, but fam, it, it can't. Like, if you're Bro, it's like, do, do, I hate, like, do I hate that um, sometimes everything's like, we, I always say the thing, it's the man's responsibility to do this, do this. Bro, I can be telling my girl she looks good yeah. every single day. Bro, let me finish what I'm saying, let me land. Land, land the play, Listen, Reggie. Man. Go do I it. I might not be a social media person, I might, not, I might be a worker, I might, I'm a businessman, I go right. to work every single day and I come home. So it might not be the fact that I'm going on Instagram and she's seen me like those pictures. Mm. I can be telling her, coming home every day, if I'm like, hi, you know, you look good, I, you look good today, you know, even if she's wearing a bonnet and no wig and just the cane and thing. But then, yeah. <laughs> I could be, I'm, but I'm still gassing her up. I could do all those stuff, but yeah, when I'm not, I'm, when I'm not here, she's still in the mirror looking at herself saying, let me, mm, man, you know this needs to go. That's you know personal this, insecurities. Right. This, this yeah. Personal insecurities. I'm yeah. not allowed to I have mean, those things for you. It can't be yeah. my responsibility. Uh, bro, to, not everyone's to, 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 um, to, um, Not everyone's on a I like that you took it in. I like that you took it in. I like that you took it in. Just, let me lay my point now. If I'm wrong, please tell me. Yeah, cool. <laughs> let me tell you why I feel like the man has failed the woman in terms of if she if she proceeds to do the baby on order order that way. Right. Let me let me. All right, cool. When you get into a relationship, right? Is it not common for a female's body to get heavier and fatter? It is. Yes. Yeah, because she gets bigger. Wait, she puts on the weight. Yeah, yeah. Her face gets a bit weightier. She get the arms, them and them something there. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, when I met you, I met you like this. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's a whole different. Yeah, but then that's bad for you to expect someone to look the same. Yeah, but hold on. No, no, no. Let me land it. Let me land it. Let me land it. One more clap. Purple land it. Anyway, take a long to land. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, bro. listen, bruh. Yeah, when a girl gets into a relationship, obviously she puts on a bit of weight. That's more common. The reason why I feel like the man has failed the woman is because she obviously she does not she does not feel comfortable enough. You didn't do your, your job as a man to make her feel like your babe, you are beautiful the way how you are. Because naturally in a relationship, you get more comfortable. You start to put around each other. You start to piss in the nah. same. You start to do all of them kind of stuff. That, that means you ain't been in love then. Because no, you, you, know I mean? you, you start to jump in the same shower, shower together. Man, certain, things, certain things, certain things that you wouldn't do. In the beginning, you start to do as you get more comfortable. Yeah, that fair enough. The corn rolls. When you're having sex, she's taking off the wig now. When then she never used to do that. She she stopped doing the makeup. Even though females, let me say something. No, stop got doing got that. <laughs> Females, like, if, please do spice it up. Don't forget the laundry and something in the bedroom. Of course. It, it, you still gotta keep it nice and spicy. But then you can't expect, uh, you can't expect a girl to do it and she's not making her feel good than nobody. No, 100%. Like so that. that's what I'm saying. I feel like the man has failed. If, I, cool, so why do you as a man just don't like that? I didn't like you, you don't like the fact that she's getting foul. Yeah, but yeah, but, 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 when you get the dead belly, she can't see. But hey, listen, it's me. I've never had seen me myself. Yeah, yeah. I'ma take my ass to the gym. Hundred percent. And go, go and go rectify that. Right. I've seen the full so myself. You, I'm yeah, gonna do that. But can I say something? Mm. Oh, can I say something? Does it? See what we're saying here? Does it work the same way for women? Like, yeah. Does it work the same way? So, so you can you go to your man and say, listen. I feel like women. Yeah. 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 
it should be, yeah. I would want to my man to say to me, I'm not gonna lie, Shadi, your, your weight's a bit icky. No, 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 my man to tell me cool you're, you're coming a bit weighty but I'm saying especially with females because we're more emotionally attached to stuff like that you can't you, do that you know you just need to know how you cool. how you're cool. because you can you may not so think it that much to you yet. so basically this is what you gotta do you gotta suck up the gym the gym membership without telling her yes, and you'll be no yeah. it could be it can literally be a, a snow especially if you're sitting there telling me you can see I'm looking at myself in the mirror you yeah. can see I'm I'm flicking my arms like and flying and I agree with him I feel like you don't have to you don't have to tell them like you're getting big mm. what you have to do is like Start eating healthy, so I'll be like, oh, oh, babe, I want to go to the gym. Yeah, we shouldn't have that today. We should have that today. Yeah, even stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, let me land. I'm landing now. Yeah, you are landing. Land, 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 land. 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 I'm landing. I'm landing. <laughs> Bro, in the day that we're living in, you say one little slight comment, one that girl might leave you. That girl might leave you because she, she's like, well, mm. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm going that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What you said. Let's let's relax. Let's, let's let's relax. relax. So, oh no, 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 this is why people no, cheat. Hold on. This is why people cheat in relationships. Marriage is well because they are no longer attracted to each other. Reason being, the boy is in the same financially as well. Financially, but financially. Mm. She says, well. don't, <laughs> she <doesn't> <laughs> don't get married for what? Let's remember why people cheat in relationships, relationships and especially marriages, isn't it? Reason being, the wife doesn't look the same because obviously you met her a certain way. She's ending up a completely different way. Mm. And the reason why men cheat, obviously, is because there's a younger girl out there with a nice body and da 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 da. More time, you're not maintaining your body. Your body don't smell the same. You don't put enough effort that you don't. <laughs> <you're laughs> <you're laughs> That's down to um. Kind of that's a. Yes, man. Don't catch smelling. 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 Changes. You of course, hundred percent. Reasonable changes. Reasonable changes. Yes. If I make you, I, I don't know, seventy kg, I'm not supposed to end up with one hundred and eight kg. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, that's the whole point. That's the whole point. No, hundred percent. I understand it's because something where like you actually tried to help them. You've tried to do without making them feel no type of way, and that's, they choose. That's why women cheat. They choose. Women or man? No, that's why women cheat as well. Because women cheat more than get, um, money. No, women do cheat more than. Get the statistics up now. Huh? Get the statistics up. <laughs> I disagree with <laughs> that. Females, you know, wait, bro. No, let no, me tell you no, what. I disagree. Is it attraction? I yes. disagree. Is it attraction? You're not gonna get. I feel like girl look at man more than man look at girl. Let me tell you a reason why. They look at you head to toe, how your shape up look, what you're wearing, how your teeth look, no, how no. you smell, all the how your body shape. So you don't do that. Do that. So you don't Men do that. Men do that, but you don't girls don't do that. You don't 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 back to your you know, no, you no, 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 no,
like because sometimes when you're thingy, yeah. Mm. So it's this. <laughs> Jim's not changing that one. Yeah. That's the thing I've seen. Okay, so that's that's, that's, that's why you're three hundred pounds. That's why you're really huge. Yeah. 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 You so fat bitch. And this is the thing. When it comes to things like that, <laughs> when it comes to things like that, yeah, um, it's got. <laughs> It's got to do with the collagen in yeah. your skin. All you have to do is go and get it. Maybe look or see a little doctor and be like, yo, let's get a tinker. Just that's, your skin tight and that, that radio favorite. Exactly, cream. collagen that um, liquid that you can take. Bro, but this is the same kind of thing, thing as surgery then. Huh? It's a similar type, kind of thing as surgery, fam. You might as well do a surgery thing, boom, bam, you're done. You don't even have to look back at that. Mm. With all the cream stuff. It might be, look, for me, Hold that's on. a lazy guy. I'll get the surgery, but I'm fast and I'm out. Hold on, man, my car right now, we see the cream. Hold on. The cream there. The cream there. Like. Do you know how much trauma you're causing to your body by sucking out how much fat at one time? Mm -hmm. Hence why you get more health complications it's later on down the line. It sends your body into a shock, your body starts to reject the surgery and all of these different kind of things. And when you turn old, your body stitching's falling out and the skin is unraveling and all of these sometimes. kind of things. Because sometimes, sometimes, as you go to the gym, your body's getting accustomed to its new shape. You're giving it time for your muscles to get, you know, shape. Because remember, there's muscle memory and all of these different kind of things. You go into the, you go to Dr. Um, um, Chong or whatever, you're getting your mind. Um, my, I'm talking about the shit doctor. Oh, the shit doctor. You're, you're getting your body. Right doctors do it. Gradually, do you understand what I'm saying? You don't just suck out everything at one time. When you're sending your body, you're in shock. You like the amount of pain, the swelling. How do you expect your body to recover? This is why your immune system is shit. This is why you even get like um heart problems and, and diabetes and all these different kind of things because your body is naturally unhealthy and you're putting it into this new shape. Your body's not ready for that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Great. And tell me how you find it after, no, no, but that's what I'm saying. I would, I, as a kind of father, I would be. I think me and IQ can agree. The kind of father that I want to be, I don't want to have no bare belly and all of these different kind of things. I want to look my best until I die. So I'm going to do everything I can. Mom, I don't want to be one of them old men. I, like, I don't want to receive a hairline. But if God give it to me, then, you know, I might even go, go to America and sort of look or something, something. But natural hey, things listen, like that. <clears throat> man saw it the other day, fam. I was doing my hair and I saw there was a spot in the hair. I said, already? <laughs> and my dad has it. <laughs> and my brother's getting it. So I saw it and I was oh, like, my family has good Yo, I went online and said, yeah, who can I go and get new head? Really? Head cheap, bro. Or whatever you can get. And I feel like a, a lot of things with these surgeries as well, a lot of us feel like certain yeah. things are abnormal <laughs> and not realizing a lot of these things are natural when it comes to hair loss and the yeah. We're thinking that we're the only ones going for it. I know, no, 100%. And, and I might be too explicit, but like even boys when they're growing up, they're in research. Um, what is it? Average dick size and da -da 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 because they're unsure, they're not sure. They're like, the dog goes silent, everybody. No, <laughs> no, no. Hey, <laughs> hey. Nobody talks about that. I'm not happy. Nobody talks about average I don't want to know anything to do with this penis. Your average boy is different to our average boy. But yeah. I wasn't searching up the average size. I saw my life on the show. I didn't, I didn't. I just wanted to make sure my own was No! I nah, I'm good still. I'm happy so I'm very happy. My mum used to search my um go into the history and search what I used to do. Oh, uh, so she's probably not gonna be so incognito. She's going in there and seeing me type up what is the average dick dick size. Yeah, I'm nice. not don't look too saucy. Not really, because like, you're just you're, you're just No. Yeah. Imagine your mum's coming to your computer, yeah? And she's checking the search history. <laughs> I feel like and in the search history it says what is the average dick size? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Sounds, but yeah. I understand that still. It sounds right. Yeah. Either you want to take the wood or something like that. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the YouTube video. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of people feel like certain things are normal, especially like parents when they're going to put um, new mothers. So what's it called? PTSD? No, what's it called? Um, what's it called? Um, not PTSD, but. Uh, what's it called? Stress. No, no, what's part of depression? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm going to say. Yeah, but you said it was. When it was the first part of depression, they're looking at the body like, why is my tits like this? And da 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 adjust these things in the right way that's what i'm saying and even if it can even be the smallest thing that you don't want to even look at like oh it, but is it, i feel like it's like a kind of look can i be funny you, 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 you see with me the way how i am in a relationship i am open in the relationship so um if i feel like if, I, if my front smell tell me that my front smell even though it won't happen <laughs> but, but, <laughs> Sorry. Let's not be stupid now, Cole. You know what I'm talking about. Go on. Anyways, um, if I smell, if I smell, come and tell me if I smell. My arms smell green. If there's something wrong with down there, you're up to shame. Come and tell me. Same like how if your front smells a bit frowny, I'm gonna come and tell you that. Yo, babe, like. 
take a step in the shower one more time. It depends on the kind of relationship that you have. Like, See the men that don't go to the woman and say, no, some, I, I used to be scared to go to women. Yeah, but I am scared, bro. I'm not scared, bro. Like, I don't know how to react to what you're Yeah, bro, some like, don't go. So I for months, no happens, but it's my fault as well. Then again, because then for months I'm sitting down, not telling yeah. this girl that yo, I've been checking that couple months. No, but she wait. might feel good in that way though. That's what I'm trying to say. She might think, yeah, I look good. I'm not changing yeah. it. No, it's true. And I don't think that. And then, but then, then that's, that's, that's a problem. Wait, how? Because at the end of the day, in a relationship, man, wait, how is me as a man is gonna go tell girl now that oh, you know you're putting on a you're putting on a bet? Wait, but she likes this way. Yeah. So I'm then it creates another insecurity now. So I'm saying because you can't. I'm not it does. It does. It does. But it doesn't. I just, I just, it all depends how you bring it, man. No. I feel like if, if I'm bringing up something like, um, I don't know, you put on a hundred pounds today, yeah. Uh, obviously exaggerating, yeah. I'm coming to your telling about you like, no, fuck off. I want to look like this. There's a problem because at the end of the day, I met you a certain way. Maintain that you cannot have a problem with me um, having a problem with the way how you look when that's not the way how I met you. I never signed up for that at the end of the day. Same like, same thing with me. If I look completely different, literally a year later, I I can't blame you for leaving me because at the end of the day, I'm being stuck in my ways. It's, at the end of the day, you have to remember in a relationship, this partnership, you have to consider your other partner. Bro, but if, not ready, if you're not ready for a partnership, don't enter into a relationship. And the same thing goes with- Fam, but in life, you got to remember that thing, things change. No, 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 but it's gradual, gradual change. That like certain things will change. Obviously, your face might get a little bit wrinklier and then that's natural that's as natural. life goes on. It, but I'm talking about things that you can control, control in terms of your diet, your hygiene, the way how your body looks. You can keep it in shape with time. 50 year old gym men don't look the same as 50, um, 16 year old gym guys. Same thing with females. The bodies won't be the same, but I, I, as you grow up, certain things you learn to accept. Before, when we was younger, we never used to talk about finances and somebody has to be on the same financial level as, as myself and the other no, person. We never used to be like that. Yeah. But as time goes on, you learn about taxes, you know, buying money. You need to buy a How much percentage for you to get a mortgage? About 30% to get a mortgage now. And you have to go in partnership. You're going to talk about who's going to spit what bill, whatever, whatever. You have to remember, you have to think about the other person. But to go into the next question and that was the whole discussion. Do you think BBLs are worth, sorry, I'm gonna say surgeries on the whole. Do you think surgeries on the whole are worth it considering the risk and the amount of money of, um, that you have to spend on aftercare? <laughs> and do you feel that that money should be redirected into healthier ways you can achieve that body goal? Okay, considering the risks, I don't think they're worth it. Mm. Because you can get the same result with non-surgical procedures, mm. unless Sometimes. like unless you're doing um, what's that surgery when they cut like the inside of your stomach so you can stop eating. Unless you're doing something like Ooh. that. So you know when people are like three hundred pounds and they'll they'll do that to help them lose weight, but that's mm. when the loose skin comes in because they lost it quickly. Like, mm. but yeah. So mm, yeah, I don't think it's worth it in terms of the risk. Especially anybody yeah. can cheapen that. Like I don't. I don't think it's worth it either. Still, man. I feel like as you said, if you have that money and you know you can use that money to get a personal trainer mm. instead of that because I guarantee you you can pay how much you said B- BBOs or I'm gonna say surgeries mostly cost they're over like three yeah, thousand four thousand pounds and that a personal trainer can help you but I just think it's back to our generation being so lazy isn't the it? way how you view your body is due to depression your mental health and let's remember mm-hmm. gym and stuff like that releases certain um, things into your Talks. body that yeah, allows yeah, you it does, it see does. your body different remember yeah, if it's, it allows you to Fancy become more active yeah, yeah, listen, I'm go, the, um, on the first person, day I'm going to gym I'm doing my weights and I'm going straight to the mirror like yeah I like it I'm like, yo, BBO, <laughs> BBO on surgeries doesn't do nothing apart from suck the fat out. Gym actually helps you with your lifestyle, helps you to become more productive, time management, and helps you with um, depression and all of these different kind of things. It actually helps you, your mental health on the whole. No, it does. you as a person. So you seeing BBO as an easy way out, you're actually putting yourself at a disadvantage because you're not actually giving yourself an opportunity to see what, what the better life is. I give you that, that's my brother. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, anyone else got a I'm agree. I agree about that. The point so said, I'm not gonna yeah. straight to different facts. They're not, they're not. You agree? You know, actually, yeah. one point. <laughs> if you've got the money and you're able to maintain it and you can still live that good life and it makes you feel better as a person, mm. then do it. But most people get the um the BBL. Say I'm, I'm gonna say BBL. People yeah. get BBL, then after they get it the BBL. Um 
Most people don't maintain it because they, 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 they got BBL in the first place to not go to the damn gym. <laughs> so why am I gonna get the BBL now and then and go, go to, to the, the gym? gym? The girls want the instant fix there and right then, like, yeah. You know what, I don't wanna wait a year for this. I don't know, I tried the gym already, it didn't work, so now I just want the instant I fix. Thought, hey, you know what, you know what, I tried the gym is already. And know. also, a lot of people do get surgeries based on the fact of, like, obviously now I'm getting for only fans thinking that they can capitalize on that body or, you know, confidence. It works, though. No, it, it, I can't, it, 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 it works. It works. No, sex or so, in terms of Black China the, uh, has makes the most money of OnlyFans. Bro, it works, bro. It does, but I feel like your your Million confidence should have come from. From being naked. Hmm. Yeah. Anyways, to wrap up the video, let me just yeah. Let's remember. At the end of the day, That's the way how we are today is to do with our households. Parents do your best to just make sure that you monitor what your child is looking at. Make sure you manifest certain things into their lives. Daily affirmations, all of that. Look at it, just like, I feel like not enough people do, especially with the black community. Like, certain traumas and stuff happen, and it's because of the parents. Like, they don't, they're not extra vigilant with what their child's watching and certain things that go on. Like, and just make sure you're, you're being active to just to make sure that the child is. It's hard to, it's yeah. hard for parents, though. It's very no, hard for parents. To as a parent, you do your best. Mm-hmm. See me, I have a daughter in it, so I do my best I can. Like, oh, she's not, she's not at an age where she's gonna be on Instagram and like, yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. But at the end of the day, I make sure I tell her certain stuff. You're pretty then. Like, you're when I was growing up, there's certain things in my life, like, I never had the love thing when I was growing up, innit? Mm. My dad, still up to this day, yeah. my mum or my dad has never said the word, I love you. Oh, yeah. But that never. Is, um, and I feel like, you know, and, 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 that's a whole no, other no, thing. And listen, when my mum sent me to Jamaica, when I came back after a couple years, when we came to hug each other after seeing each other, it was so weird. It was yeah, so it was like, weird. You see, with my daughter, I make sure I say, I, I love you every day. But that's one thing, that's one thing. I didn't want to like that. Yeah, I didn't want to like that because Fan. You didn't get it. You know, I didn't get it, and you know, some other thing. I didn't even, know, I didn't even know how to give it out. And let's remember, I a lot of these it. things <laughs> that we're seeing today in terms of problems and, and insecurities and our generational curses. I feel like until the parent breaks that, it's going to be a continuing cycle because yeah, it's going to be like yeah. even bad relationships with parents. The parent before had a bad relationship with that parent. I'm not going to lie, but I don't think you should break it just for your parent to break it. If you know it's an issue, break it as well. Kind of thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You have to break it. Somebody has to break that Someone generational break curse. It. And let me say something. If and when I blow off this whole, you know, social media thing or whatever I'm doing, I'll be the first in my bloodline of generational. I'm not talking about the extended family of my mum, but I'm talking about that, my direct, direct bloodline that would have made it somewhere, that would have made a name for myself, that can leave a legacy behind for mm. my sisters and my, my children, my future children that are going to come and all these different kind of things. So I just feel like it's very important implement certain values in your children whilst they are young. So when they grow yeah. up, they're like, yeah, you can't chat shit to me because my mum, like, and there's certain things that are just natural to you. Yeah. Oh, I have to you still, my mum, because yeah. yeah. everyone here has a brother in here mm. that has that strict ass parent, but he ended up He's being got a rebel. Like, Yes. 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 Out there. Yeah, because, yeah, because, because, because he got told see, no, he wants to do it. Yeah, because with you want to see what's out there. Yeah. Yeah. But it's got to do with relatability. A lot of parents do not relate to the child, yeah. hence why they turn out a certain way. Mm-hmm. If you're relate, like if you make sure you're transparent with your child about certain experiences that you had, and yeah. you said them in a different you show them the right and wrong. Like certain things can be avoided. Yeah, you, you show them the right and wrong. That and that's makes them lie. Like they make exactly. them, they teach them well, how to lie. As we're telling you, as young adults, middle-aged people, yeah, middle-aged people, yeah, middle-aged. Young, young, yeah, young adults and whatever, whatever, we're giving you parents advice. Do you understand what I'm saying? Ooh. Do you understand? Just take the Just take the You went into a whole this this is is a, You know what I mean? This is the next episode. This is the next episode. episode. That's amazing. But yeah, <laughs> let me guys know your opinions in the description box below. Thank you for everybody that came into the barber shop today. So, if you guys want to see part two or episode two or whatever, make sure you guys the engagement on this video is important because if there's no engagement on this, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back. So, Damn it. You know Engage there. But yeah, everybody. We need to introduce ourselves one more time and we wrap up the video. No, no, we make the girl then panic. What? Sorry, <laughs> that, was, had, that was in my head all day. Shade, DD. IQ made the. Um. <laughs> I hear him say one thing about water and him something there, so now I'm behind it, right? <laughs> She's a hairdresser, she don't want to plug makeup. it too much. She's, oh, makeup, sorry, but she can lay her front on that, so make sure you hit her up and really do some kind of things again. Beats. Yeah, this video is filmed in a Jill so make sure you guys check out their stuff. Every single relevant social media team will be in the description box below. So make sure you guys go. Tell us what you want them um, us to speak about next. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. See you guys in the next oh, video. And out. Oh, and out. So, bye. Beep.